So I've got a white sneaker problem. If there's a choice for colorways for any sneaker, I'm most likely gonna gravitate towards the white one. They're easy to style, they really crispen up your fits, and they're probably the most versatile sneakers. Most people, they do gravitate towards those darker sneakers, probably because they don't get as dirty or they're very low key, and I totally understand that. But I'm a white sneaker dude and this is my video, so here are my top five white sneakers for streetwear outfits. And I am probably going to miss some and these are in no particular order. So let's start it off with a banger and a classic, the Air Force Ones. You guys knew the sneaker was gonna be on this list. You can't really have an all white sneakers list without the Air Force Ones because these are never gonna go out of style. There's just too much history, culture, and love with these kicks that'll always make it relevant. If you could, go for the crispy pearly whites. Me personally, I haven't gone down that route yet, so I ended up with this one. These ones have a removable swoosh. They're pretty dope, but I do want the all white ones to be honest. There are plenty of versions out there though with different pops of color to support the white silhouette. Those are good choices. There is even a collaboration with Acronym with a fat zipper on the side that gives it a pretty cool look. Just be careful with Air Force Ones, especially for my shorter dudes. I do have an entire video on styling these sneakers. It's one of my most popular videos. It's kind of an older video, but yeah, check it out. For the most part, just make sure you don't wear skinny pants. This is mainly for my shorter dudes. The skinny taper of the pants to these chunky sneakers just makes for an off look. But if you like that look and you feel good, it really doesn't matter matter. Besides, like, what do I know? Fashion, there's no rules to it, but that is just a suggestion. However, I always say a taper is fine, even if it's joggers, so long as the other part of the pants have some extra room. Like my tech fleece joggers, they have your standard sweatpants taper, really tight, but the upper half is pretty relaxed fitting, and I think proportionally, it still works. Don't worry so much about the taper having a certain diameter, just look at the pants as a whole. Next up, I have the Niger 2s, and this is a sneaker that not many people have. Mainly skaters wear this sneaker because it is a skate sneaker and a pretty decent skate sneaker too. What makes these so unique is they do have that runner silhouettes without looking like a runner, if that makes sense. Check out these infinity runners that I got for my girl. They both have that aerodynamic look to it. It's just that the infinity runners are thinner up top and they do look a lot sportier. Like I said, not that many dudes have this sneaker, so we'll make you stand out with your outfits and you could skate it if you like. Just be aware that these are quite narrow, so if you don't have narrow feet, I would not recommend these for skate sessions or long walks. You might want to look for something else, but these are a great sneaker for short-term wear. I really like styling these with cuff pants. I think it really just shows off the sneaker well. Or I will go with my tech fleece joggers because they have that runner-ish silhouette. Next on the list is the all-white minimal leather sneakers. This is another sneaker that will never go out of style. The clean, simplistic silhouette will complement classic casual menswear, or you could rock it with street fits. Soka wants to be in the video. These are like the exact opposite of the Air Force Ones. They're typically made out of better quality leather and they are a lot slimmer than those chunky forces. It's a sneaker that's very low key, but also speaks volume. Throw it on any fit and it just has some sort of vibe to it. I can't really explain it. I like throwing these on with some crop trousers or some straight cut pants as well. Just because these are a slim sneaker doesn't mean that you have to rock it with slim pants. You've seen me rock these with the Carhartt dungarees as well, a very relaxed fitting pants, but the best pairing of these kicks in my opinion is peak summer with light denim. Summer vibes for sure with these and I cannot wait for that. The most popular and well-known minimal white leather sneaker is of course the Common Project's Achilles Low, but damn! <laughs> Look at that price. Ooh. So I always tell everyone you can get white minimal leather sneakers from anywhere. There's super affordable ones that lack premium materials and build quality. And then there's the common projects. But my sneaker of choice is the Oliver Cabell Low Ones. They are sponsoring this video. So let me go ahead and thank them for supporting the channel. So the Oliver Cabell Lows, I'm telling you, they feel exactly the same as the overpriced Common Projects Achilles Low. A lot of my friends actually had the Common Projects and they thought these were as well. And they feel exactly the same with some minor differences. I've tried their pair on and yeah, it's almost the same exact build quality and it's half the price. It's constructed in Italy from calfskin leather and they even have a price breakdown of the materials and I like that transparency. So if you're looking for all white leather sneaker that's going to last you a long time, check out Oliver Cabell. There are other white sneakers or other simple colors like this charcoal one. I might have to get these. And they even have a distress line, which is pretty cool. These make a great gift. I got them for my girl for Valentine's Day. Shh, she don't watch my videos anyways. And they are on sale right now, so go ahead and click the link in the description, check them out. And just to be transparent, that is an affiliate link, so if you guys do make a purchase off that link, I do make a small commission, which does go back to supporting the channel. So 
Thank you guys for the support and thank you Oliver Cabell for sponsoring this video. They would have made this list whether they sponsored the video or not, so onto the next sneaker. And here is the most affordable sneaker on list and that is any pair of white Vans. I personally have the white Authentics and the white slip-ons. I wore them in my bomber jacket video. I like the slip-ons because of how easy they are to put on and take off. People don't really think about that for some reason, but if you take out the trash, you have a lot of packages coming in or your hands are full from grocery shopping or whatever, you could easily just slip them off or put it back on. I like to think of this like the kick feature on modern cars, you know, if you hands are full you put your feet underneath the bumper and that opens the trunk super convenient you don't have to put your stuff down and press a button to open it it's, it's a very similar process plus it also helps that these are the cheapest vans available just make sure you go for the pro model for longer lasting sneakers and the vaults for an og shape and more premium materials and if slip-ons aren't your thing go for the all white leather old schools pretty solid choice with that classic shape the all white slip-ons are also a good choice for more tech fits as that low profile no laces silhouette gives off some east asian footwear vibe. And I find that it really complements that look. Some people will disagree with me. Whatever. The great thing about Vans is they do look great. All perfect and crispy whites or if you beat them up. Character is an excuse for dirty sneakers but I think they look really good. And you could draw on these as well. Whatever you like. That's actually how the checkered slip-ons came about. And last but not least, I gotta include the Blazers. Another classic even older than the Air Force Ones as these came out in 1973 and was originally a basketball sneaker. This sneaker is just as rich in history as well, and I personally prefer these over the forces as they are a lot slimmer and easier to style for shorter dudes like myself, and not as many people rock these on the streets as you may think. It's mainly on Instagram that I see people rocking these, but whenever I go out to the city, I just don't really see people rocking this. Just be aware though, these are a pain in the ass to take off. And that might sway people back to the Air Force Ones, I get that. I made a whole video about this sneaker if you want some more history about the kicks. These look great with slim pants, they look great with relaxed fitting pants. Can't really go wrong with these. And for my honorable mentions, I gotta mention the Adidas Ultra Boost 1.0. I have such a soft spot for that sneaker, probably because of nostalgia. I've gotta mention the Stan Smiths or the Superstars, both classic silhouettes. Definitely the Nike Air Max 97s some Reebok Classics, and the New Balance 527s. Those are great models. They just didn't make it in my top five because I personally don't own those. And I'm more of a Nike dude. Your list is probably gonna be a lot different. So leave a comment down below on your top five white sneakers. Give this video a thumbs up. Follow me on Instagram at Fly with Johnny Ty. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see y'all next time.